The band April Wine, according to Miles Goodwin in 1988, broke up for two reasons. And I've heard a lot of different interpretations of this throughout the years. But listening to this moment in time of Miles Goodwin in 1988 promoting his first solo album, the self-titled album, he gives a very real reasons why April Wine had to quit in the mid-80s. Steve Burgess and Miles Goodwin in studio, 1988 on Rock History Music. Was it just a, a general breakdown of, of relationships or any specific things that led to the demise of the band? Um, it was basically two things. The main thing was I wanted out. And the other thing was that they wanted to change direction. If I was going to stay in it, they wanted to go very hard again. They wanted to go as hard as April Wine could get. They wanted that you know, hard rock attack, leather jackets, you know, leather pants, long hair attack. And I wanted to go the other way. I wanted to go short hair. <laughs> Uh, I don't want the heavy metal influence. I want to wear a jacket. I don't want to wear leather. Blah, blah, blah. And um, I wanted to get out. I wanted to do a solo album. So finally, we just couldn't agree on anything at any time. So I said, you know, I'm out of here. And I, and in all fairness, I said, give me a dollar. You can have the name and good luck with it. I don't want anything out of it. I own the name. It's yours. And run with it. Form your group. Do your hard rock stuff. But uh, that never happened for them either. That's yeah. interesting. Now, did did they consider it? Did they try to make a go of it? I guess they considered and talk, um, talked amongst themselves, but the problem they, were, they didn't do it was because there was no... Uh, I'm sorry to say there was no support without myself in it, you know? So um, that avenue, as it turned out, wasn't open to them, but I certainly made the offer available. It was uh, through negotiations later that it was obvious that uh, the backing wouldn't be there without me. I think to the, to the public, and certainly to the music industry, it's like the Guess Who without Burton Cummings. I mean... Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. yeah it doesn't, doesn't really... It's sound, it seems kind of bogus. I know, but there's been a lot of, um, a lot of uh, Guess Who's out there without him. Exactly. You know, which I guess maybe was an option, too. Yeah, but then again, you've seen what happened to them. Nobody really yeah. takes them too seriously. Yeah, right. Do you remember when the, when the band actually formed? Do you remember what year? 1969. 69? In, in Late 69. It was really 1970. It was somewhere... I think it was December... 69. Yeah. And and that was in Montreal. Huh? In, in Halifax, Nova Scotia. In Halifax, and then you went to we Montreal? We went to Montreal April 1st, 1970. Yeah. And you remember that, eh? Yeah. April yeah. 1, April 1st. A lot of things happened on April 1st. Was that where the name came the from? Career. No, no, just, no, just happened to be April 1st uh -huh. that we left on that yeah. date. Uh, and and uh, uh, you made your, your first album came out when? In 70. 70. Yeah. yeah, it was called April Wine. It was with the three Henman brothers and myself. Yeah. And the song that came off that was Fast Train. It's yeah. called Fast Train. How long did, did that line up stay together? Uh, until the next album. <laughs> and uh, the bass player singer wanted to decide to go back to college, so he picked up and left on us, and he was replaced by Jimmy Clinch. Now that's a guy, a, a, a friend of mine who's a big fan of, of yours, uh, told me to ask you about Clinch. He, say, he, he thought that, uh, that Clinch's direction might have been different from yours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. He wrote some great April, April Wine songs, uh, a couple of classics, Who Would a Night being right. one of them, certainly. He sang Weeping Widow. He wrote Weeping Widow, I think. A great song. Um, and a couple of other songs that, you know, maybe we don't know it unless you have the album, really know the album, but all of them great songs. Mm -hmm. And he was a great singer, different, so totally different from me. He was a real screamer, a very mid-range voice, which was great. He went on to with BTO for a while. Right. And boy, I'm sorry that didn't work out for him. But anyway... Um, yeah, we had a lot of, uh, we had some conflicts of interest, you know, and, uh, and we were both young and, um, uh, I don't know, I'm sorry. I mean, I really still feel bad about it. We've spoken about it before, Jimmy and I, but then all, all as well, but, uh, there was, didn't seem to be room for the two of us at that point. It's so dumb to think about it now. Yeah. But he went on and I, I remained. Uh, the same guy who told me to ask you about, about, uh, Mr. Clench asked me to ask you, why are you wearing sunglasses in your new video? Why not? <laughs> I guess that's what I thought. <laughs> Why should I ask him that? I don't know. Just ask him. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Because, let me see, because he's so drugged out, folks, that it's exactly. unbelievable. Yeah. You wouldn't want to see this guy without his glasses right. on. It's scary. Now that I'm sat at a table <laughs> with Miles Goodwin, I can see that it's time that he hung up his cleat. <laughs> but anyway, I've been doing national television here without them, so there you go. <laughs> there you are. Yeah, yeah. Have you got any plans for the next album yet, or are you just going to... Uh, no, I have plans for the next album. Matter of fact, the next one's done already. I'm working on the, one, the following one, but I, you know, I don't want to talk too much about it because we're, we're doing this one now. <laughs> I write a lot of songs. I find it not very difficult to write. Difficult to make me write a great song, but I can write lots of songs. Uh, the next album is totally, totally different, completely different. And um, 
but that's another story. That'll that'll be out one of these days. Yeah. Uh, do you prefer uh, you you write alone? You collaborate. I mix it up. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, which do you prefer? Any? You know, do no, it like? doesn't matter. I don't mind any any which way at all. Yeah. However it turns out, I don't mind. Like the the song's the thing, not the writer. Yeah. We'll have more from Miles Goodwin. Remember, if you want to see the entire interview, it's on our Canadian channel at Rock History Canada. There'll be links at the very top of the description. If you want to know more about Steve Burgess, it's all in the description. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.